JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for June the 22nd. I am Harlambos Pissuros, senior market analyst here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar pulled back against all but one of the other major currencies on Monday and during the Asian session Tuesday. It lost the most ground against uh, CAT, GBP, AUD and NZD in that order, while it decked out uh, gains only against the Japanese yen. Now the weakening of the US dollar and the Japanese yen combined with the strengthening of the commodity linked Lunios and Kiwi suggests that uh, financial markets turn to risk on uh, yesterday and today in Asia. Indeed, uh, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that uh, major EU bourses finished uh, their session in positive territory with appetite improving even further during the US uh, session. Sentiment was up today in Asia as well. Japan's Nikkei 225, China Shanghai Composite and South Korea's KEOSPI traded in the green, with the only exception being Hong Kong's Hang Seng, which slid uh, somewhat. Now, European shares rose on Monday, perhaps uh, due to remarks by SMB President Lagarde, who said that uh, the euro area economic growth uh, could uh, rebound quicker than expected as consumers begin to spend again. She also reiterated that she and her colleagues will maintain an accommodative monetary policy, confirming the view that officials of this bank have not started considering withdrawing support anytime soon. Sentiment was boosted even further uh, during the US trading, perhaps after New York uh, Fed President John Williams said that the economy is improving at a rapid uh, rate, but the data and conditions have not progressed enough for the FOMC to shift its monetary policy stance. Dallas Fed President Robert Kaplan and St. Louis Fed, uh, Pres Fed President James Bullard expressed support for an earlier uh, policy withdrawal, but this was mainly expected following the hoggish signals by the committee as a whole following last week's uh, gathering. Uh, the dollar was drifting, um, was drifting uh, north since the Fed published its decision and projections, while equities traded on the back foot. With that in mind, investors may have been uh, looking for just a clue pointing in the opposite direction in order to increase their, their risk exposure again, and this came from New York Fed uh, President Williams. Today the spotlight is likely to turn to Fed Chair Powell's uh, testimony before the House Select uh, Subcommittee on the Fed's emergency lending programs and current policies to fight the coronavirus crisis. His prepared remarks are already released, uh, revealing that Powell's view is that the economy continues to show a sustained improvement from the impact of the pandemic, accompanied with ongoing job uh, market gains. He also noted that inflation has increased notably in recent months, but uh, that the current jump is likely to fade. He did not provide any clues with regards to quantitative easing tapering, but market participants will still monitor his testimony to see whether he will express uh, any opinion on the matter at the Q at the Q&A session. If Powell is among uh, the members believing that the monetary policy normalization should start in the months to come, equities and other risk-linked assets are likely to pull back again, while the US dollar and other safe havens are likely to rebound. The opposite may be true if he echoes uh, John Williams' um, Williams' opinion. At, uh, at this point, we have to note that we see the case for the FX market to react more strongly than the equity world on any comments by Powell uh, on uh, over quantitative, over quantitative easing. 
After all, this was a case in the aftermath of uh, last week's uh, Fed decision. Now, as for uh, the rest of uh, today's events, the calendar appears light in terms of data releases, with the ones worth mentioning being the US existing home sales for May, which are expected to have declined somewhat, and the American Petroleum Institute report on crude oil inventories for last week, for which no forecast is available. As for the speakers, apart from Fed Chair Powell, we, we, we will also get to hear from San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly, ECB Chief Economist Philip Lane and ECB Executive Board Member Isabel Schnabel. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.